subscribe to my channel techie boy press the bell icon to get all uh, updated videos hello guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to see how to in install and import all the modules of kv module or all the packages or all everything uh, that stuff so without wasting any time let's uh, do this so open your command prompt but before that uh, you have to check that which Python version you are using. If you are using Python 3.7 or lower, uh, so you can use uh, the command prompt and uh, these six commands to install full package of KV or Kiwi. Or if you are using Python 3.8, as I am using Python 3.8, then you will need uh, these two commands. Uh, first is this one and the second one is this one so you'll need these two commands to install the full module or the package so how uh, so first of all how to know which version you're using if you don't know then uh, just go to your search and search app and you can see the setting app and here at the left you have the app option so click on that and search your Python by scrolling it up or down whatever so so here I'm having Python 3.8 so you could have Python 3.7 or Python 3.8 anything could be there so 32 bit so don't uh, see this one this is uh, the extra one so uh, if you have Python 3.7 then you have these codes I will uh, give these commands in the description and if you are having python uh, 3.8 like i'm having python 3.8 then you have um, only these two commands i will give these two commands in the description also so let's try to uh, install one the first command or the first thing so in my command prompt it will not work because uh, uh, there is some problem in my command prompt but uh, I have that substitute but if you're having the same problem then don't worry go to your settings and click on the Python version and click on modify a pop-up will appear then click on yes and uh, another modify setup pop-up will appear uh, we're just waiting for that here so click on this modify option and check that this pip one has checkbox has been checked and these three also and then click your next and install you can uh, mess up with these also but i've already done that so i'm not going to install it again so i'm just cancelling it out and again go to command prop and just close it and again open it so and now try to just use that but as i told you that my command prompt is not working so i have a substitute for that and if the same is happening with uh, you also that your command prompt is not working then no worries uh, we can do that in the PyCharm also or if you're using the Visual Studio then you can do that there also so let's create a new file or a new project and let's name this as test and create uh, so let's create it in a new video so I'm just waiting uh, that when it will create it so just let's wait 2000 years later so here we have our PyCharm uh, window so first of all let's uh, create a file Python file so go to uh, so click on this test folder right click then go to new and here you have a Python file option then click on that and then uh, name it as main you can rename it anything so here let's try to import the kv file import kv so you can see a red underline on it so it's because we have not installed the kv module yet so to install that let's do one thing so open up your terminal if your command prompt is not working this is just optional or the substitute of that if your command prompt is not working then what you're going to do is just open the terminal on your Visual Studio or the PyCharm then copy 
one by one all these t commands to your terminal so as I'm using Python this one uh, copy and here I have to paste it that now uh, you can do the one thing that uh, you can just raise up the Python or you can keep that Python doesn't make any difference and click on enter now it will uh, install a huge package which will be having that all kv modules so I'm just waiting to install that so here it's typing that looking in indexes and this this is this and it will install all that things a few moments later so it's basically installing this kv garden it's a huge bunch or you can say the package which inst which uh, have which is having the subfolders of kv so now you can see that we have successfully installed our kv garden 0.1.4 version so if i this is it. so now what we have to do we have to just uh, enter a last command that is called pip install pygames and just paste it here and uh, press enter then it will install all the python um, not all it will install this python py games so let's just wait to install so yes it's installed and the version you can see is 1.9.6 and the last one is this is optional but for more secure side you can do this so install kiwi then as I've already done that so it's uh, it will see the uh, show that required already satisfied requirement already satisfied so it's only for the safer side you if you will not do that it's okay so now if we will import the Kiwi so it's imported successfully to check that if it's imported successfully just print um, hello and let's run this by right clicking on that uh, here right click and run so you can see this hello so don't get worried on seeing this red lines it's just uh, information which kiwi or kv uh, module shows us so that's it for this video and um, you can see that i've already some uh, more uh, I use uh, what should say just packages or modules of KV for making the one I'm making some apps and all that so you can have object property float property and the, the touch everything so just uh, so that's all uh, I'll see you in the next video any queries you can put that in the uh, comment section and I'll give you all these commands in the description below and thank you uh, see you in the next video.